Hi everybody, I'm Yuri. I work as principal engineer for APSA Group and let's chat about uh, Crossplane and how it helped us to scale our Kubernetes global load balancer. So quickly about the Crossplane setup in APSA. APSA is a, a huge financial organization that serves uh, uh, multiple countries in an Africa continent. And we have a pretty uh, reasonable scale and we're operating over a hybrid setup, part of the workload on-prem and uh, part of them are in AWS. Uh, Cross-plane instances are currently deployed uh, within our on-prem data centers and Kubernetes clusters. Uh, we are using a set of uh, cross-plane providers, uh, main ones uh, AWS and Helm. And uh, we use our special summit operators that we developed uh, uh, to automatically propagate uh, credentials as Kubernetes secrets uh, in automated way. Uh, we are some. We use cross-plane comp composite resource model and associated composite, composite resource definitions uh, to create our uh, very own uh, platform uh, and provide uh, and abstracted resources to our technical customers. So main XRDs, uh, the co composite resource definitions that we operate at the moment are S3 bucket to provide a specially configured data storage, object storage, PostgreSQL instance, uh, EKS clusters and KGB for global load balancing. So we mostly focus on a KGB part today. Uh, meanwhile, the principles of uh, cross-plane based compositions are shared uh, between these resources. So what is KGB? It is open source project uh, that we developed in APSA. Uh, it is a cloud native global uh, Kubernetes global balancer. It is uh, a Kubernetes native and it enables global service load balancing fu function for uh, workloads that are deployed on top of uh, Kubernetes clusters, uh, typically in uh, geographically dispersed data centers or different uh, cloud reg regions, like different AWS, AWS reg regions and as is a common reference setup. Uh, one of the distinctions uh, uh, points uh, of a KGB projects is the uh, absence of a single point of failure. So we do not have any control uh, clusters and no instance where uh, traffic is uh, going through. So there is no single uh, bottleneck and the system is uh, uh, architected uh, uh, the way to be really reliable at a global scale. And the, it is all based on a DNS protocol that is battle tested uh, by internet and uh, is a good match for uh, global uh, load balancing traffic steering. We faced obvious KGB deployment challenges because we operate on more than 120 Kubernetes clusters and this number continuously growing. Uh, and uh, there is an obvious challenge of uh, a repetitive Helm configuration uh, where we, uh, given we are packaging KGB uh, as a Helm chart, we're providing uh, flexible enough configura configuration parameters uh, to enable uh, customization of uh, every part of a KGB as a distributed system. Meanwhile, our special uh, specific setup is relatively stable, so we need to parameterize not all of them, but a minimum amount. And that's uh, how Crossplane helps with, uh, with its abstracted resources. So here is an example of a, a cross-plane composite resource claim, uh, which uh, provides an interface for uh, end users, a little te technical customers or uh, uh, you know, whatever services uh, or human is interfaces with the Kubernetes API. We exposing just uh, five required uh, configuration endpoints 
to drive the KGB installation of our uh, multiple clusters. So it provides a very effective abstraction, a very minimal configuration, uh, only required params are getting exposed and you decide what kind of these params are with the help of cross-plane abstraction power. Uh, this setup is very good for GitOps, so we, are, uh, uh, we can easily automate uh, the application of this XRC manifest uh, uh, with the tools like Argo CD or Flux, and we don't need any client-side implementing like a custom SVSK. Uh, because the, the uh, XRC YAMLs are uh, very minimalistic and we can just drop them in into GitOps repo and uh, let Argo or Flux apply it to the target clusters. So let's uh, uh, perform a very quick demo and demonstration how it uh, all works. So we already have a, a couple of clusters where cross-plane is already deployed. We have a empty KGB namespace, uh, which <clears throat> we will use to deploy uh, KGB installation. Let's quickly look how XRDs are composed. So we have a, it packaged as a standard uh, XRD uh, definition. So it's a composite resource definition. Uh, and uh, that's how we expose the required parameters with a open IPv3 schema. And the heavy lifting is done in a composition uh, where we actually uh, provide the default parameters and then patching them uh, from uh, XRD down to the specific um, uh, resource instantiation. We have uh, examples, resource claims. So let's be the European one. So that's exactly this minimalistic uh, abstraction uh, that was demonstrated in the slides. So let's create a, a KGB installation where it's stacked with EU West one and it's going to talk by configuration with Africa. So it is as easy as applied with cube control. And we can uh, check uh, the status of abstracted resource with a standard uh, kube control commands. It's not yet ready. Meanwhile, we can uh, check uh, and demonstrate that underlying that it is uh, uh, under the hood is a standard Helm facility, uh, thanks to uh, cross-plane provider Helm. We can check the abstracted resource again. It should be already ready and it's true and we can quickly check the ports of the service we operate and let's quickly describe this port uh, and uh, double check that the environment variables were properly propagated down to the port configuration and here we go cluster geotech as expected label as europe we can do the same uh, same application of a resource in another uh, cluster in another data center. The only difference is uh, in this uh, specific instantiation is it, it's totally the same. It just uh, the geotechs are flipped because this uh, cluster resides is uh, in an, another geographical location. So we can quickly check the pod there. It should be already ready. Uh, and let's make the same end-to-end -end check as in another cluster. Here we go. So we have a properly configured system uh, in a both of uh, uh, clusters and both data centers. And, uh, that's how we minimalize the setup and make it very uh, concise and declarative. To uh, dive into this uh, cross-plane composition concept, you can visit a uh, uh, very good official documentation for which describe composition in a very practical way. Uh, there is a, a very nice video of a, a core cross-plane developer 
providing you ideas uh, of uh, cross-plane co composition uh, to be used uh, to build your own cloud platform. That's pretty much what we do with Zenapsa. Uh, KGBIO, our official uh, website for uh, our Kubernetes Global Balancer, in case you, you're interested in this topic, uh, uh, please visit it and uh, visit our GitHub repo and provide feedback. And uh, uh, you can grab these slides, uh, right in sketch, uh, so you can click all these links uh, and uh, follow through. So thank you so much. Uh, that was uh, an example of how we using cross plane uh, and its abstraction power to scale a distributed system as an example, KGB. And you can use the same approach to scale and compose your own unique uh, platform abstractions uh, on top of Kubernetes. Well, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of the conference. Goodbye.